sounds can make or break a game. Like, imagine putting a Mario soundtrack into Minecraft and putting a Minecraft soundtrack into Sonic and putting a Sonic soundtrack into Subnautica. It's definitely not going to work, is it? So, yes, sounds are a major component of gameplay. I think you might agree with that. And in Godot, we use the audio stream player and the audio stream player 3D to accomplish this functionality. Now we can get right into the Godot 4 editor and add the audio stream player under your test area and go into the enemy scene and add an audio stream player 3D to the point where you want the enemy to get hurt. Go and drag and drop the mp3 files that you've downloaded for the sound effects and the background music respectively. Once this is done, I want you to put the background music node into a group called background music and I want you to put the audio stream player 3D node under a sound effects, rename the nodes to actually represent what they do in the real world. In my case, in the enemy script, it's going to be the hot sound and in your case, in your script, it could be anything. In my case, I'm gonna use the audio stream player to play a background music that would actually not terrify the players. It's actually retro 8-bit music in my case. Once this is done, we can finally start scripting. Let's go! I made a hot sound variable of the type audio stream player 3D under my enemy script and after that, I referenced it in the script. Hot sound 3D equals get tree parenthesis followed by get first nodes in group followed by sound effects. Why am I supposed to use sound effects? Blah blah blah. It's our enemy script. Wait, get tree gets the scene tree and it searches for the node you want to search in in the scene tree. Sound effects in our case. Once this is done, we now have the sound effects node. That is the audio stream player 3D. Why did we do this? It's because if we take this node out and we drag and drop another node of the same type, which has sound effects as a tag on it, we can also access that without any problem. It won't just fit this one thing specifically. It will be flexible with other things. That's why I'm using this command here. Once that is done, get into the physics process function and we made a condition for the if player hit me situation, right? Go there. Once you've gone there, actually write hurtsound.play. That's it. You're done. You're done with the enemy sound effects. But I'm pretty sure you want to listen to some really cool background music. So we're going to get into the character script. And let's make a background music variable of the type audio stream player 3D and let's get into the ready function and let's also reference it. Okay, we say bgm equals get tree dot get first nodes in group followed by background music in my case. Once that is done, write the following magic words bgm dot play. Boom, it's done. You have a weird spatial and not very spatial audio system for your gameplay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was very easy and Godot 4 makes stuff a lot, lot, lot easier than what they really are. Like for example, the next video is going to be about menus and UIs. So if you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button and save this playlist to your library so that you can follow on the development of the game that was meant to teach you the basics of game development. That's it. Thank you. Bye.